What's poppin', what's crackin', what's going on? I wanna talk about Satan's lack of presence in the Old Testament or and how people assume that it was Satan who um, uh, convinced Eve to be the apple. The whole thing of this started because I saw some TikTok video talking about Adam and Eve and some person in the comments was like, it's pretty unfair because Satan literally convinced her to eat the apple. Um, why was she punished for being convinced by the literal devil? Um, and then I, of course, have to comment, um, well, it wasn't actually Satan, or it just says the serpent. Um, you know, only later on uh, do do we do we say that it was Satan who did that. It just says serpent in the Bible. It never says it's Satan. Um, and this person says, uh, yes, it was. And I'm like, well, uh, I believe there or was their first comment. Something about um, different interpretations saying that it is, or no, different translations. He says, different translations um, say that it actually was Satan, and that's not true. Um, there's no translation that says, uh, they may, maybe there is a translation. None of the translations I've heard of, um, especially not the, the main ones, uh, obviously not the big King James version, but I went through a couple of translations and none of them called the snake Satan in Genesis 3, where um, the serpents actually make mentioned. So I'm like, okay, well, I didn't see any reference of that. Um, Satan actually wasn't even a character until the New Testament in which there's a reference to Satan, the serpent of old, the devil, um, and there's like two, uh, the, the dragon, the great dragon or something. A couple of things where it almost is like, here are a couple of terms that we use when we're talking about Satan, a uh, fallen angel and a couple of things. But this is in Revelations. This is in the New Testament. It doesn't happen in the Old Testament. So like my whole point is like, nowhere in the Old Testament is Satan actually mentioned. And this person just says incorrect twice and one of the times with a little heart emoji that I just, it's adorable because they think they're like, um, they think it's adorable that I'm trying to lecture them about something they know more. They mentioned later on that they have a PhD in uh, Christian theology and like, cool, that's great. Um, but your PhD um, doesn't change your ability to, well, it helps your ability. I, I do believe that you have some greater context, right? Um, and if you could add that context, that'd be useful. Um, however, the actual testaments, um, unless there's, uh, the actual original testament doesn't say servant. And the more interesting thing is, um, in the Hebrew uh, religions or in the Torah, Satan doesn't even mean Lucifer or the devil. It means um, the opposer, the accuser, um, any person that like, multiple people are called a Satan or the Satan, anyone that um, is in opposition to whatever, you know, protagonist or main force, right? So Satan doesn't even mean Satan, uh, but, you know, an accuser, opposer, an evil, some sort of um, negative force, kind of makes sense that later on we'd use, like, Satan does represent the opposition to God, of course, so it seems natural that that feels synonymous. Um, but, uh, you know, just looking into, you know, just research a couple of places, it, I, even the, uh, the scholars, they are honest when saying nowhere in the Old Testament does it say that the serpent was Satan. They do say that later on, serpents are referred to, uh, Satan is referred to as a serpent, so we can assume that, um, the original serpent, which, well, uh, is, uh, it, it was also Satan. Now, the problem, one of the references is like, well, how was the snake able to talk? Um, they, you know, there wasn't any reference to any sort of magical being or whatnot. It was like, okay, well, if S Satan influenced the serpent or spoke through the serpent, like, there's a justification there. Like, how was the serpent able to do that? Um, I don't believe there was a, some, and some people say, like, maybe all animals were able to talk before and then after the fall, not the fall, after the, is it called the fall? I yeah, it's fall man, right? And after the fall, they, um, they decided later on to, uh, remove the ability of they God decided to remove the ability from animals to speak, but there's later on other uh, different instances where animals were able to say, it was some goat, I believe, um, was, he was able to speak, but, you know, it's a goat, maybe, another reference to Satan, right? Um, uh, what else is there, uh, but they, like, strange to, um, it's strange to, to even make that the major point, like, well, how was it able to talk? Things like, how was it able to talk are kind of weird, and a passage where God just made, you know, made, uh, light, then, uh, the, he, like, the order of the creation of the universe is also anti-scientific, so it's weird to be like, you know, like, oh, well, the universe was made within seven days, but, you know, the animals can't talk, um, clearly God could have just made them able to talk, and maybe just not referenced when he made them talk, but since 
whatever the inference you we have to do an inference to assume that the serpent was a snake you also have to do an inference to assume you could you could assume other reasons why the snake was able to talk and is no longer able to talk right uh, humans could have created new languages and just forgot the language the animals speak you could do a bunch of things to justify it. like it's the only reason that you do the snake is the devil one is because it, it just seems stupid that just a random animal is dumb. but also one of my um my contentions is like why curse the serpent to well, ride on his belly and eat dirt and be what was it uh, you will bite at their heel the, you, their offsprings for one shall bite at the heels of humans and be and the humans shall bash their head or something something to the reference of humans will try and step on their heads and uh, snakes will try and bite the heels of humans right so the serpent and snakes offspring uh, are punished for the actions of the snake so if that is the if it was actually Satan I think it's a little strange for um, God to punish an animal for being the victim of possession by the devil. Uh, but then if you go into like God not, like does God not know or does God just punish randomly? Maybe. I mean, I think it's obviously we're talking about justification for punishment. I think this might be a weak argument because, you know, if we're going to question this, we're going to question a lot of things. Why would we punish the descendants of humans for the actions of two other humans that doesn't make sense why the sense of the father that that's completely unreasonable um even based on that same logic if your offspring's sins are your own sins then satan's sins are also god's sins based on that same logic unless you know that god can decide whatever then you have to go into you know special pleading god doesn't have to abide by his own rules god is the arbiter of rules right so like if you question any of it you can question all of it uh but basically on that same means like then why justify any of it right so like Obviously, I'm going into this as an atheist, so I could say one part doesn't make sense, but I think a bunch of things don't make sense. So it's a little hard for me to, um, how do I interpret this as a religious person would interpret it? Um, it doesn't seem like, like, from the outside, it does seem weird to need to defend, like, this Christian PhD student. I assume they're also a Christian person. Um, there, might, there are many, uh, who's, they're, like, Bart Ehrman and, um, Alex O'Connor, I know they, they are theologists that are atheists, right? Um, but there's not many people who study Christian theology or any theology, specifically Christian or Judaism or Islam, that aren't also part of the religion. So, you know, maybe that's the reason why they're so adamant to adhere to the belief that it was Satan. Um, but, you know, if you look, I mean, I looked in a couple of sources I looked to, but if you read the, um, what was it Bible study tool? That was one of the first sources I looked at. I'm like, well, I want to know what Christians think, and can Christian if anybody can find the justification, hopefully Christians could. And uh, it would it showed Genesis, and it no ref never referenced Satan or the devil or Lucifer and angel or anything. It just said the serpent. But then, like in the summary, it said, and the serpent was Satan. It didn't justify that. It didn't show a source. It didn't prove it. Um, it seems to just be an accepted as common knowledge. Uh, in the in the scholar scholarly that like yes Satan probably did this um, somehow and they don't justify how or how they know that it's like but it probably has to be the case so that's pretty much it for that I mean obviously it made a little if you're watching this you can see my the short I just made posted to TikTok because obviously I need to talk about it with a couple of sources I'm sure someone in the comments will be like well if you ask these scholars it is generally an accepted fact that the snake was um that the serpent was satan and i'm like um it may be accepted but that doesn't make it um accurate i mean for one i don't accept that <laughs> the old testament happened i don't i don't accept genesis in any way so i'm like yeah i mean sure they can accept it that in this fake story this fake thing was said but based on the actual testament um, and based on when the testament was made, uh, uh, it doesn't. Se it seems completely un unreasonable to assume that that was actually intended to be Satan. Satan didn't exist in the. Well, what? I mean, I just googled it. the time period of when the Old Testament was made. What between like 1600 and 150 something BC? Um, and again, with the, the Jews being like, again, yeah, this was a Jewish religion up to this point for a while, and um, the Old Testament is you know largely stripped from. The, the Jew, Hebrew text, right? And in the Hebrew religion, the, the concept of Satan did not, especially back then, did not exist. They don't believe in a, a devil or a hell or anything. So, anyway, if you like what you saw, leave a like, subscribe to a crime. Just kidding, don't do a crime. And I'm out.